September of 2003. I, Dr. Napoleon, let me ask you something. I, I know that in, in looking at some of the notes of some of the work you've done that, that y you have studied, you've written about, uh, women you say like Lana Clarkson, beautiful, intelligent, struggling to make a career in, a, in an area, both a career and, and a, a locale that throws constant obstacles in their way. Uh, you talk about the prey-predator sort of analysis of, of Lana Clarkson. Explain what you mean by that. Again, Jack, referencing the ambient culture in Los Angeles, uh, there are thousands of young, beautiful women who arrive here in Los Angeles County monthly. And they come here to get into the movies, to get into the music business. Uh, they are met by both legitimate producers and directors and movers and shakers, in addition to a cottage industry of individuals who prey upon these persons. Now, when Lana got here in the 70s, she uh, undoubtedly experienced what I just described. But this is a 40-year-old woman, which means that she has some staying power. She was always on the fringes, very talented, actually. However, never quite made it big. Uh, there was a process where she had overcome many of these obstacles. Nonetheless, she understood that if you want to make it in this business, then you must either have independent funding or you must attach yourself to someone who has that power and prestige. That may have been, in her mind, Mr. Phil Spector.